Hello everybody, my name is Judith T and what I would like to do today is to show you how to go into your router and change your Wi-Fi wireless channel settings. Now, why would you want to do that? Okay, as a, uh, an engineer that used to work with one of the biggest, if the biggest telecommunications company in the UK, uh, I worked in the broadband installation repair unit for a number of years. And a lot of the problems that I came across was to do with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi um, connectivity, Wi-Fi uh, distance, Wi-Fi, etc., etc. All the problems with Wi-Fi, and eight to nine times out of ten, I would usually go in to cure some of the problems. Would be to go in to and change the Wi-Fi wireless channel settings. And this cured a lot of the problems. For instance, dropout. Um, sometimes you 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 know it will drop out on a regular basis, and you'll be will be. I, I was able to log on yesterday, but for some reason today I can't log on properly. Or you might log in. It works for a while and then drops out. You log back in, drops out, log back in. So you know various problems to do with wireless. Uh, the Wi-Fi can be actually. Uh, not necessarily cured or, or even yeah okay cured by going into the you know and changing the the actual channel um, settings so what I'm going to do uh, is show you how to get into it because this will could save you a lot of money actually in the long run some people don't know what the problem is they bought a new laptop and they've tried to connect to Wi-Fi several times and continue in. I don't know what the problem is. Um, one of the things I've noticed in the past with that is Toshiba laptops seem to always have this little bit of a problem. But uh, once I change the channel, then everything seems to be okay. So this is something you can do yourself, uh, obviously. So if you're having Wi-Fi problems or if the, or if the speed is a little bit slow, um, then it might be a case of just changing the channel. So, what I'll do is I'll this the, demonstrate you using my Sky Hub. Um, this works again on BT, Netgear, D-Link, 3Com, and other various um, routers. Um, but all of them have got different IP addresses to, to log in. Um, but uh, the one for Sky is 192.168.0.1. I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, it comes up with the Sky Hub um, and the menu. Now, as you can see on the the right where it says useful settings change wireless channel that's the one that we want so if we click on that now you're going to need to put in the password to get into the router itself which I've already pre-done but the actual username is admin and the password is sky s k y so we click on login and there we go here we go wireless settings okay uh, and it says here we assign different channels to your sky hub randomly to minimize interference with other networks in your air it shouldn't be necessary to change the wireless channel unless you notice interference problems from another nearby wireless network it's recommended to leave leaving this set to auto um, now I'm using a, an Acer tablet, Windows tablet and I had a problem logging in to the um, 
to the to the router um, it would log in but it would sit there when you try to go to um, you know a particular website for for maybe three four five minutes and then suddenly the page would crawl up very very slowly uh, there were times when it would do that and then it would drop out suddenly it would just drop out and I'd have to look back in again um, so usually the uh, on the sky on the sky box is set on auto so all you need to do I mean if you look on here is to click on that and as you can see it says auto and it goes around from 1 to 13 um, as you can see I've set it on 6 but you will need to do experiment because you need to be careful here if you change it and it works for the device that you is having a problem it might affect the other devices that might have worked quite happily on auto so you, you may have to go through you know several of the settings so you might have to set it on one right through to 13 to, to find which one works with all your devices and, and not going to affect it in, in the long run okay so um, I've set it on six and I'm going to click on apply click on apply and it will reset itself and that's it it's now set now um, as I said if you depending on I mean your channel 3 might work better with all the devices if you've got two or three four or five devices six devices but there may be just one or two that are not connecting properly um, if you go into a sky router not like mine and you change it to three and then it's all, all of them work fine brilliant if one or two that were working fine before don't as I said you might have to go through each of those settings to see which one works properly now bear this in mind on the sky it's set aut automatically it's set on auto um, so if you you know if it, if you still have a problem or it affects more than one device go back to the original setting which would be on sky the auto set set it back to auto and then click apply uh, and then um, try again maybe later or get someone to come out and look at it um, if on the other hand um, you want us to look at we can do so um, if you look below our website is is there you can contact us through the website and what we can do is we can remotely access your laptop or uh, your computer ideally um, you know if it's a laptop um, the one that's working you know fine if if the the other devices are just or other another device is a problem then if you can then log from a laptop that's working you know that's working okay we can then log in remotely to your laptop uh, for a small fee uh, and then change those channels for you uh, maybe go through several of the channels while you test them out and then um, see if they work fine uh, and then if you're happy we can then you know apply the settings and, and see how you go from there so <coughs> As I said, if if you um, you know need any help, just contact us on our web on our website. All right. I hope this is um, been help to a few people. Um, it's actually a good idea to to look at this first before calling someone out because uh, it could save you a lot of money in the long run. Okay. Thanks very much for watching.